Hey there, Santo, Pixar, and Warner Bros. fan, 6% of 5 here, and the reason why my room is almost blank is just because, well, I'm moving in two weeks, so that means you won't see me make videos that often, but, hey, and today I have some vintage Looney Tunes plushies by the company Applause, and this is probably my most Looney video yet, so... Oh, oh boy. Hey, here goes nothing. Yeah, these guys were made up by, like, sometime in 1994 to 1998, and were made by the company Applause. Applause was an American toy company that was founded, I don't know when, and closed its doors, I don't know when, since I tried to do a little bit of quick of a research. Anyway, so yeah. They're basically notorious for their Looney Tunes plushies, and right now I own Daffy Duck, Roadrunner, Wild Coyote, Gossamer, Marvel the Martian, and K-9. And there are also other characters too, like Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, Tweety, Yosemite Sam, Lola Bunny, etc. And they've also done Tiny Tunes Adventures plushies sometime about like 1990 to 1991. And you won't believe this. They also made Space Jam plushes in 1996. They basically re-released everybody. And they also made a Lola Bunny plush. They just basically put everybody in Space Jam outfit. So yeah. These guys also came in different sizes. Which was standard for 90s plushies back in the day. So let's take a look at Daffy Duck. Daffy is really, um... Really, uh... Really, uh... Really, uh... It's just because, well, the quality control wounds it. His eyes are pretty good, though... The beak is the problem. You see, some of these plushies suffer from quality control. Like, say, my Daffy's beak is pointing to the right, while some Daffy's is pointing straight. So that's just a problem on my plush. Though, outside of the quality control, the beak looks alright. And the tongue is mouth felt. Though, if you look at it from the side, it actually does look that bad. And, and, and the floof? It looks pretty good. It actually kind of looks like the floof on the on the artwork so yeah it actually kind of makes sense and the body is fine it's just the legs are too short and his arms are connected to his hands it has no finger detail only showing his thumb and and daffy's feathers on his legs are really really good and well detailed and his legs are the same color as his beak and look good. Actually, the color on this guy actually looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. And um, the the feet too big look good. And his necklace or like that thing around his neck looks pretty good. So yeah, and here's what his tag looks like. It's basically the same tag as other Looney Tunes products and here's what the back of the tag looks like the Warner Bros logo and it's saying that it's a small plush and with some writing info what the tag looks like it's it has the applause logo and and it says 1994 Warner Brothers Daffy Duck small and with numbers and legal info by the way for quick comparison I would like to compare him to the Looney Tunes show Daffy Duck Plush from Bridge Direct. As you can see, here's what Daffy Plush looked like back in the 90s, and here's what Daffy Plush looked like 20 years later. I was like, this guy used to talk, but when I got him, he didn't talk. And, but he used to be posable, but he's not posable anymore. So yeah, what a... So, I know what you're thinking. Are there any bootlegs of the applause plushes? Well, thankfully, nope, none. Well, except for Daffy. But thankfully, it's easy to tell if yours is fake. For example, I've never seen a bootleg Daffy 
with the official tag. So if yours has that tag, it's official. By the way, I've been playing use this guy for videos. So yep, I'm going to practice right now. <clears throat> You're despicable. And <laughs> yep, that's all I know. Next up is Roadrunner. And by the way, he is actually one of my favorites. It's just I love how he's accurate to the character as a whole. His eyes look pretty good and they're connected, which it should be. And unlike Daffy, his beak is amazing. And unlike Daffy, his tongue is made out of that same player survivals as the rest of his body. But his feathers are male felt, though they go down, but they look pretty good. And his feathers, again, stuffed, look pretty good. And by the way, they're also made out of felt. But the light blue on Roadrunner is made out of soft material. And his body is near perfection. And, and his tail is really, really good. And his legs look dark, look pretty good. And by the way, one cool fact about Roadrunner is that his legs and neck and tail are posable. This guy is so cool. I have actually been thinking of doing like a Roadrunner one like how he plush series out of these guys, so yeah. And by the way, um, he has this mysterious tag. I don't know where this came from, but I bet it came from that same tag that that Daffy used to have when it fell off or what this plush had back when it was new. And by the way, he has this hang tag that, that might have been the same tag as Daffy that he lost. He has the same touch tag. And, he, and unlike everybody else, he has that same he has this applause tag mail of translucent and by he has a string i don't know it might have been like from the previous owner and by the way i've also been using this guy for videos so yep i'm going to practice right now <clears throat> meep meep oh yeah i also know the stuff like that and next up is Wiley Coyote. And again, just like Rover, he is actually one of my favorites. Again, he matches his artwork in like shows and movies and artwork as a whole. His eyes, though, it actually kind of looks like that he got Santa's eyes, but still good. But I love how his edges look like that, that he was starving. And his eyebrows fuzzy really good and and by the way the floof has like some different coloring but but it's fine and his ears actually kind of look a lot like bugs bunnies only um uh, brown and tan and his muzzle i love how long it is and how they captured the lines in it and the frown I seriously love it. And his nose actually kind of looks a lot like Sonic the Hedgehogs. And his chest, you see how it's puffed out like this? It's one of the only examples of an artwork translation to 3D. And his body, I just really love it. I just love it how he looks like that he hasn't ate anything in like years. And his arms are the perfect shape. And unlike Daffy, he has finger detail. He has the correct four fingers, which he should. And his tail, long and perfect, though it's just the coloring. And, and his legs, long, look pretty good. And his feet, I really love his feet. And here's what the tag looks like. It's basically the same tag as Daffy. And by the way, again... I'm planning to make a Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote series out of these guys. Mostly Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. By the way, I just watched like the episode so I could get some ideas. By the way, if you have any ideas for me, please let me know. 
and I would practice for him for videos, but he doesn't talk, so thank goodness we could skip to the next one. Next up is Gossamer. Actually, he's the only one who I think is really, really bad. Here, I'm going to tell you everything what's wrong about him. His eyes look too close and kind of look a little cross-eyed. And, um, yeah, and his, um, his brows kind of look a little bit funny. Though, he has mounted this fuzzy material. By the way, I don't get it that, I don't know what color he's, he's supposed to be. Oh, well, he's supposed to be red, but, but some people say he's orange. That doesn't make no sense. That's by the way. And, and by the way, and his arms are the perfect size for his plush and and by the way and his hands look a little off but thankfully has the uh, four fingers which it should be and unlike and by the way and it's not made out of that fluffy material and um and his legs are also too short but the shoe's actually pretty good now now the only thing that's special about gossamer is his Tag. And but he has a hang tag. Probably when did when you're able to buy this guy at stores back when it was new. I was by unlike everyone, he has this tag that says hold up. That says Lee Tunes Classic Collection. And unlike Daffy, Rover and Wally Coyote, this guy was made sometime in 1996. So yeah. I would practice for him, but thankfully he doesn't talk. Well, except for a Leighton show, the only thing I don't like about Leighton show is how childish Gossamer was. Outside of that, I basically love the Leighton show. Anyways, I will practice on him, but he doesn't talk, so yeah, we could skip to, to the next one. Next up is Marvin the Martian. Again, I just love how he's accurate to the character as a whole. And his eyes look pretty good. And by the way, his head looks really, really good. Like, seriously. It looks kind of like a bowling ball, which it should be. And his helmet looks pretty good. And by the way, one cool thing about Marvin's helmet is that you're able to bend it. Is that you're able to take it off. Or at least move it. It's, yeah, basically the helmet's movable. And this thing on Marvin's helmet looks pretty good. And his body is amazing. It's just, again, just like Daffy, the legs are too short. His arms are a little long, look pretty good. And Marvin has the correct four fingers, which he should be. And this, um, what I like to call Tutu is perfect and its mouth fell in the bottom and his legs again too short look pretty good and his shoes are really really big which it should be and it has actual capture details look although however however just like gossamer the details on his shoes are made out of this iron material that could that could like it could like warp fate or crack over time if not maintained well but in good condition, it looks fine. And, and also by the way, here's what his tag looks like. It's basically the same tag as Roadrunner. And by the way, he has the same touch tag as everybody else. But the way, there's actually a variant of Marvin, which he has different eyes, make him look angry. And by the way, since I'm able to use this guy for videos, I will practice right now. <clears throat> I'm a Martian. Yeah, basically I got that from the Legion show. Man, I love that TV show. I would let my sister voice him since like she's a big Marvin fan, but we had to wait and see. And last up is K9. Again, I just love how accurate his character looks and Again, this might be one of the best plushies Applause had ever made. Like, look, his eyes 
are great and his nose is really good and his mouth though man his string look awesome and he even added a chin detail and his and his helmet though though look like marvin's but smaller though unlike marvin his helmet doesn't move and his thing on his helmet looks good his ears are amazing and his body as a whole looks really good his legs are great his shoes like marvin's look good they even have details same as marvin which is an iron and his tutu looks like marvin's looks amazing and his tail is awesome by the way that's by unlike you know daffy roadrunner wild kelly and gossamer both him and marvin are made from 1997 and unlike everyone this might be in like perfect condition like sure yeah his ears are loose but everything else is posable and same goes for marvin and also by the way this guy's the most tags here here's one that everybody does have this one says i'm bendable yep basically showing that it's posable it has the same tag and for some reason it has a valentine's tag probably when valentine's day was around it has the same touch tag again i'm going to use this guy for videos but i'm just going to use sound effect seriously if you're going to pick A's up i say i recommend getting this one but yep that's all folks but question which one's your favorite honestly i like daffy because he's my favorite character to voice as i love overall i kind of usually because of well, to play as, and I just love K9's quality. So, yep, maybe I might get more in the future. Who knows? Safety percent of iron speed out.